Hello everyone, and welcome to my Young and Restless official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. According to the Young and the Restless spoilers, Gloria Fisher Bardwell appears less frequently these days, but fans are always happy to see her. Gloria is a humorous and fascinating character and will always root for her to get more screen time. On Days of Our Lives, Judith Chapman plays the fiery Diana Cooper, who is imprisoned. Chapman has won over many soap fans with her outstanding performances on both Y and R and DOL, but she is now taking on an intriguing new job. Chapman has two projects in the works, but they aren't about soaps this time. Chapman will direct a handful of theater shows at Palm Canyon Theater in Palm Springs this autumn. For beginnings, Larry Pear wrote a play titled Shunned. It's about demonstrating the Amish lifestyle, the constraints that group faces in today's world, and how being excluded affects those who leave. Janice Lind, who portrayed Leslie Brooks on Y and R, will play Catherine Yoder when this production debuts in October. We have no doubt Chapman will do an excellent job directing this strong and poignant piece. Larry Pear has also written a play called Sundu, in which characters fight to save what they believe is the true Eden from biblical times. As developers threaten to take over, these folks step up to protect the area and explore topics that merge spirituality and environment. Chapman will direct this piece as well, and it will premiere in October, just like Shund did. If you're interested in purchasing tickets, visit palmcanyontheater.net for information on dates, timings, and directions. You can also phone their offices at 760-323-5123 to acquire more information about these productions. Of course, we'd love to see Judith Chapman return to the young and the restless or days of our lives at any point but it's fantastic to see her branching out into directing while she's not on screen. According to the Young and the Restless spoilers, some major storylines are about to boil up this fall, so we'll bring you predictions on all the surprises as well as updates on any chaotic news that may arise. The Young and the Restless spoilers for the next two weeks, September 9, September 20, reveal that Kyle Abbott will finally reach a custody agreement with Summer Newman as these co-parents struggle to prioritize Harrison Abbott. Kyle will also receive an indication concerning Audra Charles' treachery of Victor Newman between September 9 and 13. When Kyle realizes Audra may have revealed Victor as the mystery investor to Nate Hastings, he jumps at the opportunity to make his co-CEO appear bad. Kyle will not have proof, but he will undoubtedly try to convince Victor that Audra is bad news. Victor will later discover that Audra has taken a rash decision, which will bring additional problems. Audra could be fired as a result of the incident, or she could find herself on extremely thin ice. Either way, Audra will blame Kyle and pursue him for revenge, so he'd better watch his back if how she treated Tucker McCall is any indicator. According to Further Why and Our Spoilers, Victor will obtain dirt on Billy Abbott and make a hazardous deal that could land him in hot water with Chancellor. Lily Winters will provide this information, but she will omit the name of the company Billy wishes to acquire. Lily will become apprehensive of her relationship with Victor, and she will press for a written agreement between them. However, Lily points out that Victor may steal Billy's thunder by having Newman negotiate the transaction he wants instead. It would derail Billy's launch and demonstrate that he is incapable of keeping all of his lofty promises. Of course, there could be a snag because Billy will Billy close will this deal be in a joyful quickly. mood, and he will not let Chance Chancellor, Connor Floyd, dampen his spirits with criticism. When Chance realizes he won't be receiving the co-CEO position, he will leave Chancellor totally. Chance will leave the company and hint to Summer about possibly returning to work at the police department. Next, Nick Newman, Joshua Morrow, and Maria Copeland, Cameron Grimes, will go undercover to see if Sharon Newman, Sharon Case, is indeed taking her medication. 
That will result in Maria making a shocking and possibly unpleasant discovery. Sharon will have another fantasy about making out with Nick. Cameron Kirsten, Lyndon Ashby, will also find new methods to torture Sharon and pressure her to cause trouble. While Chelsea Lawson, Melissa Claire Egan, defends herself following Adam Newman's Mark Grossman adultery scandal, Sally Spectra, Courtney Hope, will decide what the future holds. Sally has already stated that she intends to avoid Adam in the future, so she may go even farther and declare that their relationship is genuinely finished. Diane Jenkins Abbott, Susan Walters, will try again to make amends with Kyle, but he will not be interested. Jack Abbott, Peter Bergman, will try to soothe Diane by making a commitment and lifting her spirits. Unfortunately, Diane will run across Victor soon after, and he will get under her skin and drag her down after Jack's pep talk. Victoria Newman, Amelia Heinle will have a heated confrontation with Lily. There may be some disagreements about Lily's relationship with Victor and the plotting against Billy, so Victoria may exhibit her protective side when it comes to her ex. Across town, Phyllis Summers, Michelle Stafford, will make a proposal to Billy. Phyllis needs a job. May she wind up working for Billy? Phyllis will also play an increasingly important role in the Sharon disaster, as she will wake Nick up to Sharon's out-of-control behavior. When Daniel Romilotti Jr., Michael Grezia Day, discovers Lucy Romilotti, Lily Brooks O'Brant, lying to him again, he becomes increasingly anxious and makes a prediction about future trouble. Lucy's lie may easily generate extra complications for Sharon, especially if it involves a secret meeting with Faith Newman, Raylan Castor. Regardless, Sharon's plot will include some deadly twists and turns. In fact, this could be the reason I and R is having Chance return to the GCTD. Chance may take efforts to return to police work during the week of September 16 to 20, and not too soon, given that he will be required to conduct certain investigations. Phyllis may form a new alliance with Billy if he hires her. Could Phyllis become Chancellor's chief operating officer and assist Billy in his struggle against Victor and Lily? Finally, Claire Newman, Haley Aaron, will attempt to assist Kyle mend his strained family bonds. Claire will become closer to Kyle as the story progresses, and it won't be long until their relationship turns love. According to the young and the restless spoilers, Summer will be upset when she learns about Kyle and Claire's blossoming relationship, so stay tuned to see how she reacts. We have no doubt Chapman will do an excellent job directing this strong and poignant piece. Larry Pear has also written a play called Sundu, in which characters fight to save what they believe is the true Eden from biblical times. As developers threaten to take over, these folks step up to protect the area and explore topics that merge spirituality and environment. Chapman will direct this piece as well, and it will premiere in October, just like Shund did. If you're interested in purchasing tickets, visit palmcanyontheater.net for information on dates, timings, and directions. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and don't miss any updates.